Hi, okay, buddies. This is my greenhouse setup out on the porch. So it's now you can hear me properly. So it's almost towards the end of summer. Not much summer left, but the days are still quite hot and still lots of bright light. And I think the plants have noticed that too. Um, first off, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what's in here. Bit of everything. I moved all the plants that were in the room into the greenhouse now, and they seem to be doing a lot better. A lot more light. It's telling you temperature, humidity. This white curtain I've got here because it does get quite a bit of afternoon sun and I don't want the guys to burn so this is just a bit of extra reflective material. White's really good for that. But I think this fabric in the greenhouse reflect a lot of the UV anyway but just for a little bit more. In winter I'll take this down. And then I also have to think about how I'm going to heat this thing. But anyway so just a lot of that's a new leaf coming on this flower here and as you can see it's a spike if i can focus that there we go so this is the first phalaenopsis to have spiked this year so really impressive flowers had had a rest last year now it's obviously rewarding me which is good very healthy lots of roots this one's put out a new leaf this is the one i dropped Hence the state of it, but it's good, it's recovering. Hopefully, it'll put out more leaves and roots. It's very happy. This guy here is doing the same, lots of roots and etc. This little guy got a little bit of sunburn here, but nothing too major. Nothing too major. I don't see any flowers on it yet, so maybe for winter. This guy here, doing much the same, lots of new growth, don't see any flowers. This guy here got a bit of sunburnt when we first moved in, into the greenhouse, so I have to be a bit careful and watch this doesn't spread too much, otherwise I have to snip this leaf off, which is a shame because it's a new leaf, so just keep watching it, I hope nothing much happens. And it's got another new leaf coming, so this guy's never really had a good run. I was sick when I got it, and now it's done that. So anyway, hope it'll recover. This guy here is one of my really healthy, strong ones. New leaf, obviously, lots of new roots. This is the one I bought. Was bought in the orchid convention came all the way from Taiwan. Apparently it has a really nice orange yellow flower so hopefully it will spike soon. It's still a young thing, it's still young. Oh well, here comes the bright light. The sun's come out. Afternoon sun. This guy's got a new leaf, very happy. More guys down here cut the spike back so let's see if there's any new shoots coming from that new leaf here and an old leaf that's going see that perfectly normal same with this guy two leaves about to go but more leaves came out okay this Miltonia, lots of new growth, really happy in this basket, free draining and as you can see here, one spike to come, there's the other ones, another one here, and another one there, so good to see it happy and flowering, the flowers are amazing, 
especially the scent. So more to come. It was getting this pleated look on its leaves. It wasn't getting enough water. Now I'm watering a lot and it doesn't seem to be doing that in the new growth. So. Over here, this was a division from this one. Zygopetalum. It's very happy doing its thing. So hopefully that will take off real soon. That's a new shoot. That's a bit of paper towel so I, need, so I can blot up the crowns of the Phalaenopsis when I go water so they don't rot. This little guy's a mini fowl. It's got a new leaf coming. This is another mini fowl when I cut the spike back. Nothing seems to be happening but well, it will do what it does. This is a Harlequin Phalaenopsis. Seems to be very happy, leaning to one side. This is the the light meter and the moisture meter. This is a fragrant Phalaenopsis, which is putting a new leaf, another one. So it's good, very happy. This guy here is putting out lots of roots and leaves. Very mature plant. You can see here it's only grown the leaf that size and it's already put out another one and it's very getting very good light here as you can tell by the purple tones under its leaves very this is the most light it can take down here I've got a bit more so it's a phalaenopsis here hiding underneath there it's putting out a new leaf Leaves are a bit wrinkly, I think it doesn't have a good root system. But it'll come around. All leaf dying. Another Phalaenopsis getting lots of good light. Almost close to getting sunburned, I think. It's a bit too much light, the leaves. But doesn't, I don't see any damage yet, so maybe I'll put it back a bit. Gets a bit more shade. Another happy fowl here, lots of really big leaves. You can tell your Phalaenopsis is happy when its new leaf is larger than the last one. See? It's getting exactly what it wants. Put a mealy bug there, I'll squish it now. Little Oncidium. Hasn't really done much, but it's got a good root system, so maybe spike in winter I don't know some a few more guys down here Phalaenopsis another Phalaenopsis and a cat lear put it, I put the cat lear out towards the light more because it, it does like a lot more light whereas the fellies obviously don't so yeah it's basically the tour of my greenhouse. It's not very large, but it's enough. So let me know any comments, feedback. I quite like to know if there's a good way to heat it during the winter. I'm thinking of hanging a, an electric blanket just on this rail here. And that should be sufficient to keep it warm, but we'll see. Okay, that's enough for now.